Hello and happy Wednesday. My name is Linda Torgerson. My company is LT, LTE, Learn to Love to Exercise. Welcome everyone. Please say hello as you come on to this live or on the replay and let me know what your name is and where you are watching from. I'm located in Dana Point, SoCal and I welcome you all. Today I'm going to talk about eight reasons, eight reasons why you should be eating carbs, carbohydrates, because they're our friend. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Are you guys excited? Give me some thumbs up if you're excited. Hey Sandy, thanks for coming on. Please say where you're watching from and I would love to know if you are currently or recently have been on any kind of low carb diets because then I can provide you with some more info as we go along. Hi Willie, thanks for coming on. Let me know where you're watching from. Hopefully I can see all your comments. Last time I wasn't able to see them all, um, but I will do my best to read through the comments. I would love to make this as interactive as we can today on this happy Wednesday. So let's get into it. Are you guys ready? And I would love for you to put in the comment number one, if you're ready for the first reason why you should eat carbs. Because a lot of women, especially, and men, they limit carbs because of all the fad diets and everything that they hear out there that carbs are evil, carbs are bad, and we shouldn't have carbs. But mind you, there are different kinds of carbs, right? There is not just one type. Hi, Tina. Thanks for coming on. So give me a number one in the comments so I can keep up with you all and get into the eight reasons why you should eat carbs. And this is especially important if you are struggling to lose weight, if you want to burn body fat, and also if you want to get in a better mood and have lots of energy, all right? Which brings us to number one, numero uno, numero n, is carbs is our master fuel. Master fuel. That's why I have so much energy because I eat carbs all day long, every day, and I love carbs. I grew up eating carbs. I grew up eating five to seven slices of bread every single day as a kid in Norway where I grew up. And I was a skinny kid. And I still eat bread and I still eat pasta, and I still don't gain weight from eating carbs because carbs is our master fuel. It's what is going to help us, give us energy, give us lots of energy, and especially if you're doing any kind of activity, if you're walking, if you're going to the gym, if you're doing any kind of workouts at home, you need carbs in your diet. It's very, very important. And I would also love to know if, you all, if anybody knows, how many calories are in one gram of carbs? How many calories are in one gram of carbs? Hey, Lily, thanks for coming on. All right, so that was number one, master fuel, master fuel. Number two is that carbs are very important for glucose, for the brain and also for the red blood cells. For the brain and also for the red blood cells. Glucose is blood sugar, so an easy way to remember this is for the red blood cells would be blood and then the sugar is actually what our body, what our body, what our brain needs. So if you can think of going to school, taking an exam, and how a lot of kids do is they eat a lot of candy before the exam to help remember stuff. So our blood sugar, our glucose, for the brain, for the red blood cells, carbohydrates help. And our brain needs sugar, not to say that you should be eating candy all day long, but we need some sugar in our diet. We can't eliminate sugar. I know there's people who say, I stopped sugar, I quit sugar. I don't even know what that means because there's sugar in almost everything and we need some sugar in our diet. Again, not eating candy bars and you know cake and desserts and, and that stuff every day, 
but having sugar in our diet is important to a degree. Everything in moderation, my friends. And with the brain, what's going to help is it's going to actually help improve your memory. So when you eat carbs, when you get that glucose for your brain, it's going to help you improve your memory. And who doesn't want that? Because as we get older, a lot of times we forget stuff. So it's important to be able to improve our memory. Hey, Carol, how are you? Let me know where you are watching from. And if you're on any kind of low carb diets, I would love to even know the name of some of the low carb diets that you have been on, because I know there's so many out there. All right. The third reason why we should eat carbs is, give me a number three in the comment. Number one, number two, number three in the comment. Number three is that carbs help us burn body fat. Carbs help us burn body fat. If anyone knows how many carbs we should be eating on a daily basis, meaning the percentage of carbs in our daily diet, let me know if you know the percentage of the daily, of the daily carbs that should come from our overall calories in a day. Comment below, please, and I will check it out and see if you are correct. All right, number, which number are we on? Which number are we on? I'm gonna go straight into it. I got eight to cover, and I wanna make sure that I also leave room for some questions and comments. I want this to be interactive, so hit me with the number four. Cuatro, number four. All right, number four is that carbs actually helps our digestion. It helps digest food, and there are several reasons for this. And as I get into the next two points, so number four, five, and six, they kind of go together in a way because it's something important that's in carbs that will help us. So it helps our digestion. Does anybody have digestive issues? A lot of times people do, they even have like gut issues. And a lot of this is because they don't eat enough carbohydrates. And then you end up on probiotics, you end up on kombucha, you end up taking all these different things because you're not able to digest the food and then you end up with gut issues. Hey Patrice, thanks for coming on. Gut issues is something new. They never used to call it like gut issues like years ago you would have like maybe a stomach ache or something. But <clears throat> all of this is related to the foods we eat. It's related to ourselves internally because if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to burn body fat, if you're trying to reduce belly fat, it doesn't matter if you're working out three hours a day, if you eat like crap, if you go and you eat fast food and you eat dessert every day and you drink soda, whether it's diet or regular, it's not going to help you. What's going to really, really help you is your nutrition. And that is why I, as a certified nutritionist, I educate all my clients on what they should eat. This is how I differ from giving just a meal plan, which is something I don't do. Because if you just get a meal plan to follow, how are you gonna know after you're done with this meal plan if if, if it was the right thing? Or how are you gonna know how to make foods after this meal plan is over? You're not gonna be any smarter. So I educate my clients. I have a customized approach that way. And that's what my clients love because they actually learn something about nutrition, which is what we all need. All right, number five is that carbohydrates help us feel full. It helps us feel full. And that is great because a lot of times we can eat a meal or certain snacks and we'll keep eating and we're just not satisfied. So we keep eating and eating and then maybe the body takes a little bit extra time to give you that signal that, hey, I'm full. And instead it gives you a signal, I'm stuffed. But when you eat carbohydrates, it's more satisfying. You keep, your, you keep feeling fuller as you eat it. And if you think about like eating pasta or eating rice, rice or eating oatmeal or eating bread, if you think about that, 
Think about when you're eating that next time that how you're actually feeling satisfied, you're feeling full as you go, as you're eating it, instead of eating something else like maybe potato chips and we eat the whole bag because that is not the right kind of carbs that you want to be eating. Hey, Julie, thanks for coming on. So we are now to number six, the sixth reason why you should be eating carbs. And the sixth reason is because carbs help us regulate our cholesterol. <gasps> and that is super important because a lot of people have high cholesterol. And then what happens with the high cholesterol, then you get into the pre-diabetes stage to the diabetes stage, and then it keeps going unless you fix it and you go in the right direction, all right? So to stay healthy, then regulate that cholesterol. And number four, five, and six, those helping digestion, feeling full, regulating cholesterol, those three points has to do with not just eating carbs, but actually eating fiber. Fiber, hey Sandy, thanks for coming on. So give me a number seven. I have two more points left, so give me a number seven. So with eating fiber, it's super important because when you're feeling full, for example, you will be digesting the foods more slowly versus eating something else that you're gonna digest too fast. And regulating the cholesterol, we all know how important that is for our health, especially if you get your blood work done, which I recommend that you do at least once a year. Once a year is good, get your blood work done, find out what your numbers are. All right, hi Chris, thanks for coming on. Are you all ready for number seven? Let me see a number seven below. I think I need to get my hair cut again, my bangs are getting long. Um, so I mentioned how I help people with nutrition, really educating them and not giving them a meal plan. And the other thing that really helps with all of this and with losing weight and with burning body fat is to have somebody to be accountable to. And I don't mean your 17 year old daughter, but somebody, a professional that you can be accountable to and who also gives you a lot of support because that is truly what's going to make a difference. And of course you need to make this a lifestyle change. Because if you just keep doing diet after diet after diet, whether it's low carb or high carb, then it's not going to last. But what I'm telling you now, eating these carbs and the reasons for eating carbs, that is going to last because it's real food. And real food, my friends, is what is important and that's what's gonna last. We don't need to rely on a bunch of supplements and we never know if this or that supplement is gonna disappear but we always know that real food is gonna be around. So real food is what we need. So number seven, what the seventh reason is, seventh reason why you should eat carbs is to boost your mood, is to boost your mood and be happy. And this is key. And one of my clients that I'm working with right now, she was on an anxiety medication, 20 milligrams, and she went from 20 to 10, and then she went down to five, and then she's only taken that five three times a week instead of seven. I've helped other ladies reduce anxiety and depression medication and actually eliminate it. Now, of course, that's not something that's done overnight. Any medication that you take, you wanna ease off of it so that your body's adjusting to easing off of it. But it is very possible to reduce your depression, reduce anxiety with eating more carbs. Who thought? It comes from the inside. That is why it comes from the inside. Because you want to be able to promote serotonin. And serotonin is a brain chemical. And that's why it boosts your mood to eat more carbs. All right? And who doesn't want to have less depression and less anxiety and instead have lots of smiles? and happiness. Now, we are at the last point, number eight. I kind of flew through these, but I'll do a little recap at the end. So number eight, give me a number eight below. 
And again, would love to hear any low carb diets that you're on to see how I can help you or give you some feedback on those. All right, so number eight, the eighth reason why you should be eating carbs is to promote weight loss. Yes, and most people wanna lose weight. Maybe it's just a couple of pounds, maybe it's 10, maybe it's 70, but whatever it is, carbs are your friend. Carbs is what's going to help you reduce weight, reduce the belly fat, and boost your mood, and give you lots of energy, all of that. So I'll go into how, how can you do this? What is the best way to do all of this with eating carbs? Where should you be getting these carbs from? Okay, there are two different carbs, right? There's the simple carbohydrates and there's the complex carbohydrates. The complex is what you wanna focus on. The complex carbs make it harder, complex, okay? And where you can get a lot of this is from things that you may have been avoiding for a long time, such as bread, such as pasta, such as rice, such as oats, whole grains. Whole grains is complex carbs. And you want to focus on the whole grain, the whole wheat, the seeded stuff, the flax stuff. You don't want to focus on the white stuff, right? Not the white bread, not the wonder bread, not the white rice. You want to focus on the whole grain. And also you can get a lot of fiber from the whole grains and you can get a lot of fiber from things such as beans and peas. Beans and peas legumes, they call them, right? That has a lot of fiber and a lot of fiber in our diet is going to help us. It's also going to help us go to the bathroom if you have to poop. So to poop eat more fiber. <laughs> and another complex carb is vegetables. Now I just got off the phone with a lady and she was saying that her husband doesn't eat vegetables because he doesn't like vegetables. My reply to that is, you know, hey, your husband is probably not seven years old anymore. And if we want to be able to be healthy, then we need to eat vegetables. And there are so many vegetables out there. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know what's your favorite vegetables. And please give me some thumbs up and some loving for doing this live. So I have a lot of favorite vegetables. Um, I like broccoli. I like cauliflower. Um, I enjoy eating salads a lot. I eat salads every day pretty much. And those are complex carbs. So there's so many vegetables that there is something for everyone. There's something that everyone can enjoy. There's one vegetable at least that we can all find that we like. Do you agree? So simple carbs, simple carbs are things such as fruits, such as milk, such as candy, such as soda and syrups. So think about like when you go to get your coffee at Starbucks or pizza or wherever you go, if you get a lot of syrup in the coffee and the default is usually three pumps, which for me, it's way too sweet. So I typically always ask for one pump and I don't go very often, maybe a couple of times a month, but that's like my treat, right? But if you do a lot of syrup in your coffee all the time, that's something to be aware of and also thinking about all the added sugar that a lot of times we forget. So it's not just sugar, but it's added sugar. So that's where it helps you to really be able to read the nutrition label so that you know what is in foods because it's not always as simple as looking at the calories. Because calories, although it's important, it's not the most important. It's really what the nutrients are in the foods that you eat. Hi, Lana, thanks for coming on. Let us know where you're watching from. I know we got people from all over the world. It's so exciting. Um, so you wanna to try to avoid the simple carbs and then you wanna to try to go for the complex carbs, okay? Any questions on that or on anything that I covered so far, let me know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna to try to grab my computer here because I'm not sure why I'm not able to see your comments. 
Let me do a little swipey. Not able to see any of your comments. So keep them coming though. I will go back and I will look at it after, after the live is done because I have about 10 minutes left. So I want to recap with you quickly what the eight reasons are. And if any of you know what they are, then put them down below, write them so other people can see them as they come on. All right, and we all know that the more we reiterate stuff, the more we write stuff down, the more you're gonna remember it, okay? So I'll go through the eight reasons, again, quickly I'll recap why you should eat carbs. And one is the master fuel. And I asked a question earlier, how many calories are in one gram of carbs? The number of calories in one gram of carbs is only four, which is the same as protein. But our body actually doesn't need as much protein as you think. It needs way more carbs, way more carbs, like double. Hey, Mina, thanks for coming on. Let us know where you are watching from today. And number two was the blood sugar, the glucose for your brain and for your red blood cells and how that helps actually improve your memory. And then number three was that carbs help us burn body fat. And who doesn't want that? Even if you don't wanna lose weight, you may have some extra body fat that you want to lose in order to tone. And anybody who wants to tone, there's body fat to be lost because we can't tone without first losing the body fat. And what we need, that was another question that I asked earlier, the percentage of carbs that we need in our daily diet out of all the calories that we have in a day, 45 to 65% of our daily calories should come from carbohydrates. 45 to 65% should come from carbohydrates. So it's a lot, probably more than you thought. What do you think? Is it more than you thought? What were your guesses? I'd love to know what your guesses were, but it's a lot and that's what we really need because again, the carbs help digest our food. It helps us feel full, feel satisfied and who doesn't want that? Instead of sometimes we could be eating and eating and it takes a long time to feel full. Carbs help with that. And it also helps to regulate our cholesterol, which again, the fiber, all of that will help promote weight loss. And promoting weight loss was the, was the last bullet. And then the next to the last was boosting the mood. So actually reducing, eliminating your anxiety or depression, whether you're on medications or not, Carbohydrates is what really helps you with all of that. And then I mentioned how to get these through complex carbs and having less of the simple carbs. We want to, of course, be able to eat some fruits. We certainly want to eat berries, but we want to limit or avoid soda, candy, milk, syrup. We want to, we want to limit that for sure. So I have about five minutes left and I wanna go through and I mentioned my link to my free Facebook group, which is, in the, which is in the link here to the live and in the description to the live, I should say. So the link is there for my free Facebook group. I post daily tips, value, inspiration around health and fitness. I focus on nutrition. I focus on mindset because that is the most important thing. And then I focus on exercise. So you can learn to love to exercise too. So if you wanna get into my group, then click on that link and I will let you into the group. And if you want to either message me privately on Facebook or you can reply in the comments here with your email address, then what I will do is I will send you my 10 tips to staying young and energized after age 50 because I'm 52 and a half and I've never had so much energy in my life as I have today. Hi Tamara, thanks for coming on. Um, so those were two things. You can get into my Facebook group. Uh, you can get the 10 tips. And I mentioned a little bit about how you would benefit from working with me is that 
I give you a lot of accountability. I give you a lot of support. You're actually working with me and not with a computer or with another coach. You're working directly with me and you have a community of like-minded ladies who are in the New Me Academy, which is the name of my academy that I built out with a lot of different courses. And you really get educated working with me because it's a customized approach. I don't give you meal plans, but instead I work on educating you on nutrition so that it can be sustainable for life and you will know going forward what to eat. So if you're struggling to lose weight, if you're struggling to burn body fat, get rid of the belly, if you want to tone, if you want to have more energy, if you want to build some muscle, reach out to me. I will offer you a free 20 minute fitness breakthrough call where it's all about you and it's for me to help you. And for, the, for me to help you, I need to learn a little bit about your goals and your needs where your limitations are, what you're struggling with, so that I can give you some advice that you can take and implement, right? So I encourage you to click on the link and get into the LTLTE, Learn to Love to Exercise Health and Fitness group. And I encourage you to send me a note or comment on this post and let me know your email and I can send you my 10 tips to feeling young and energized after age 50 and set, uh, go into my Calendly. I posted that in the description as well. And that is where you can book your free 20 minute fitness breakthrough call. And I sincerely want to help. I know that it's hard and I've struggled before myself with losing weight and I've been depressed about it and I felt ashamed about it. And I've had all these feelings and it's no fun, right? Because in the end, we all really want to feel good. Hi, Angel. Thanks for saying hello. So in the end, we all want to feel good, right? We all want to be able to fit into our clothes and we want to live a happy life. We want to have strength. We want to have energy to get us through the day. And as entrepreneurs, we all know that the more energy we have, the more productive we're going to be throughout the day. And with energy and productivity, we're going to get more business. We're going to make more money. We're going to be happier. We're going to be more satisfied. And when you have the body that you truly want and you can fit into your clothes and you feel great about yourself, then you're going to have a lot of confidence. And who doesn't want confidence? I think we all want to have more confidence. And there's a lot of different ways to get confident, but the most important way that I hear from all the ladies that I talk with every day is that they struggle with feeling confident because the way their body feels, the way that they look at themselves in the mirror, whether they have clothes on or they don't have clothes on, then they're not confident about their body. So they want to be able to feel good, to look good, to wear certain clothes and to not have to have like, all this big notice before going on a beach trip, right? They can just take their bathing suit, put it on and be ready to go because they're already in the body that they love. So I feel this way at 52 and a half and I would love to help you all feel this way too. But of course it takes commitment. It takes effort. It's not always going to be fun. It's not always going to be easy, but when you have somebody who you can relate to who is around the same age as you, then it makes it a lot easier other than working with, instead of working with like a 20 year old coach. And again, I focus on real food, not supplements, and I educate you along the way. So I'm here for you. Any questions you have, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can message me directly and I'll help you out with whatever I can. Hey Barbara, thanks for coming on. So I am here and I'm gonna get off so that the next person come on their live. Thanks for listening. Linda Turgeson, LTLTE, learn to love to exercise. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for being on here.